far as your weight and all that kind of stuff this year? Yeah. Do you do anything differently diet wise? Um, I usually, you know, I try to, I try to eat. Eat, eat well during the off season. Um, I'm about 215 right now, so uh, that's usually my normal weight, my playing weight. So um, yeah, just like I said, I just did my normal routine, you know, conditioning, running, working out, you know, going to therapy uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and um, now it's about you know hitting every day. You know, I hit at OU, so that's always nice to hit, hit with those guys. Um, yeah, just hitting, throwing, getting ready to go, and uh, hopefully, like I said, translate, and I'm ready to go and go out here and get it done on the field. What was it like walking in here this time around, knowing that you guys had that possibility of not being back here as soon as you were? Yeah, it was. It was. It was good. You know. Um, you know. I showed up a little bit later than the, than the other guys, but uh, it was just good to see everyone faces. You know. Uh, give all the. You know. Uh, prior to this, you know, it was more fist bumps and you know, hey, how you doing? But it was good to actually, you know, give a hug and a handshake and you know, say hello to everyone. So uh, it was. It was a lot of fun. To see everybody. <laughs> this guy. Um, and get back into the groove of things. What do you think about the new outfielder you added today? DH outfielder. Oh yeah, of course. You know, I've, I've played against him many, many, many years. So uh, he's always been a great talent. Uh, he's definitely gonna be a huge addition to this team. Uh, we all know he can swing it, go get him. So uh, it's gonna be fun. So um, I'm sure we'll figure out how to how to get this thing rolling. DH. I know we got the DH now. So I'm sure we all um, give each other days off. And um, like I say, but either way, we'll be ready to go. Ran to go and uh, just decided to get back on the field. How do you feel about the DH? Uh, I mean, I think it helps everyone. You know, um, when guys are hurting and need a day, you, know, you can kind of DH, throw a guy in a DH role and kind of give him a day off of his leg in the outfield and uh, vice versa. So we have a lot of, we have a few older outfielders um, on this team, you know, between me and Kutch. I think I'm the oldest, but, uh, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, you know, also get Yelly a day here and there as well. So you know, overall, it's going to help everyone. Lois, for you going into the last year of the contract, what are your thoughts about that? It's going to be interesting, you know. I'm going to go out here and give it my all. Um, you know, me, my main goal is to stay healthy the entire season. So, and I, and I kind of let everything else take care of itself. But, uh, yeah, um, we'll go into this year, you know, um, just kind of give it my all and see what happens. And then whatever happens next year, we'll kind of go from there. I mean, yeah. that was going to be one of my questions. Yeah. Are there going to be years beyond this year? Um, that's still... Yeah, I still, I'm still un unsure about that right now. This this could possibly be my last year, but uh, if it isn't, you know me, I'll, I'll you know train as usual in the off season. But if it is, you know, I'm gonna go out here and give them all, and, 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 and you know, hopefully we can get to the playoffs. Hopefully get to a World Series uh, if it is my last year. And uh, but like I say, it's a wait and see approach, and uh, it all it all kind of depends on what happens this year. Yeah, what led into your thought process about that? About about your future? Uh, yeah, I don't really think about it. I mean. If it's my last year, it's my last year. You know, I've, I've had a great career. You know, I've done everything possible that I can think of uh, throughout a career, and I'm, I've accomplished a lot. So um, I'm happy if it is my last year. But um, like I say, it kind of goes. We're kind of going to kind of wait and see, and you know, depends how my body feels as this year. And uh, if it feels great, you know, I might come back for another year. If you know, barring some unforeseen circumstances, do you see making that call during the season or? Hmm. Like in other words, do you, do you envision getting to the end of the season and knowing what you might do? Yeah, it, I mean it could it could happen. That get to the end of the season and and then kind of you know as of right now I feel great. You know I haven't been on the field yet, so <laughs> you know we always feel great when we first get to spring training. But you know we we know it's the ground the day you step foot on the field, and uh, yeah it could happen at the end of the season. But uh, at at the end of the day I'm still going to make the decision during the off season regardless. What do you think about this team on paper? I think we're looking good. You know, we all know what our pitching staff can do. Um, I feel like if we can go out there and pitch staff, do what they did last year, and then if we can come back this year and score a lot more runs than we did last year, I think we'll be okay. So, for me, it's about us going out, you know, playing solid defense, uh, swinging the bats, um, scoring runs, you know, um, kind of lighting that load on our pitchers. So, uh, but I, we, we all know what the pitching staff can do, and hopefully, they can go out there and, and be dominant again this year. And how do you guys approach it with the new hitting coaches? Obviously, new philosophies and a new give and take. Yeah, so I'm. I'm in, today is my first day, so I haven't, you know, had a meeting with those guys. Haven't sat down and talked with those guys yet. You know, uh, you know, with the lockout happening, and I wasn't able to kind of, you know, sit down and talk with them as much as I wanted to. But uh, so it's a kind of wait and see approach for me. I'm sure the other guys have talked to them, but I haven't as well. As haven't yet. So yeah. You saw the Atlanta win the World Series last year. Was there ever any thought that that could have been yeah. us? You don't beat Atlanta, for example. Yeah, I mean it sucks because 
you know, the year before, um, two years ago, I think, we played Nationals and they went on to win it. And then, you know, just see the Braves go on to win it, you know, last year. You know, it sucks. Um, I think both of those games, we, we were right there. We could have we could have won it. and um, But unfortunately, we didn't. So, uh, you know, kudos to those guys. They played their tails off, did a great job. And, um, yeah, but this year, we got to focus on this year. And hopefully, we can go out here, uh, put together a great season like we did last year. Hopefully, win 90 to, you know, to 100 games and get back in the playoffs and kind of go from there. So you know me, we get in the playoffs and just kind of let everything else see, see what happens. Well, what are your goals? Is it revolve around games played? Yeah, you know me, I just want to play games, you know, and that, that revolves around my health. So if I'm healthy, I'll be on the field. So, you know, sometimes even when I'm not healthy, I'll be on the field. So uh, uh, as long as I don't have anything serious, you know, I'm usually most likely I'll be out there on the field. So we just kind of try to avoid the big injuries, I guess. Does that mean you know, you obviously hurt yourself running in the walls, you know, diving mm -hmm. for balls, that kind of stuff. You're still going to play the same yeah, that's, style, yeah, right? That's, that's not going to stop. That's not going to stop. We just, like I said, the, the hamstring, the quads. I had two quads last year and a hamstring. So uh, it was a tough year for me last year. You know, I didn't play. I only played, like, I think, like 70 games or something like that. So that was that was uh, disappointing for sure. But um try to up that game, up that into maybe 140, 150. So that's always my goal. I'm trying to play as much as possible. Is this the first title of your career? Is it the first title? Yeah, it's the first one. Um, it's, it's a beautiful thing, isn't it? <laughs> you know, I was able to draft well, you know, with the help of Mike. You know, I had to show Mike a little bit of love here, Masalo. And also uh, throughout the season, I was able to make two beautiful trades to help my team kind of propel over the top. You know, I traded for Mark Andrews and Jonathan Taylor. So I'm sure you guys know, know, those, know, know those talents. So, Who'd you yeah. Um, so we have to say Devin. Traded Devin, he had Jonathan Taylor, and Hauser had Mark Andrews. I traded him Dallas Goddard and Damian Harris for Mark Andrews. So, you know, just making moves, you know, that's what I did. And I was able to pull it off, you know, um, so I get to rub it in the guys' faces the rest of this year. You know, uh, probably never happen again, but as of right now, got to take full advantage of it. Uh, Hauser. But he had Justin Jefferson. And remember, Kirk Cousins got COVID, so he couldn't play. <laughs> so I, I beat him by 15 points. I probably would have lost if Kirk Cousins played, but you know, uh, yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. Well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's Thanks, the game. Bro. All right, guys. Appreciate you guys. No problem. No problem at all. I'll see you.